Welcome to another amazing video from Team Supreme Gamers. In our last CPU buy guide video, we've discussed some of the best CPUs that you can buy right now for Android x86. And we also discussed some of the things that you should consider before getting the best laptop or desktop for your budget. In this video, we're going to recommend some of the best PC upgrades like RAM and storage that you can do and how you can find the supported RAM and storage for your current device. As I've said in my last performance guide video, using an SSD over an HDD can highly increase your system's overall response and boot up time. And nowadays, SSDs are getting cheaper. You can easily fit a 250GB SSD in your low budget build. If you're planning to upgrade anything on your PC or laptop, then getting an SSD should be your first option. SSDs are more reliable than HDDs because SSDs can withstand accidental drops and extreme temperatures better than HDDs. SSDs commonly use less power compared to spinning hard drives and result in longer battery life because data access is much faster and the device is idle more often. Video games contain enormous amounts of assets, such as high resolution textures, models, audios, and more. A game that takes 2-3 minutes to load on an HDD takes well under a minute on an SSD. Game engines need to have access data whenever the player enters a new level, scene, or mission, so having a faster SSD is a must for gamers. Some people like to buy NVMe SSD because they are small and fast compared to a standard SSD. The extra speed on NVMe SSD is beneficial if you want to record your gameplay or do live streaming but most casual gamers don't need to spend extra money on it. Some new NVMe drives might not work on older Android x86 due to the older kernel, but this can be easily fixed by updating the kernel with GearLock Recovery. Performance gains in games from using NVMe over standard SSD is not much, so buying either of them is good for your PC. My recommendation is to buy a 500GB Samsung SSD or NVMe SSD because Samsung SSD technology is better than any other brand out there. If you are using Windows 10 and Google Chrome on your system with 4GB RAM, then you might have noticed Windows getting unresponsive or laggy after opening a few tabs on Chrome because 4GB of RAM in 2021 is not enough for your Windows PC. So my recommendation is to upgrade your RAM to at least 8GB. If you don't have any external GPU on your PC, then your Intel iGPU will use your system RAM to load graphics, which is also known as shared memory. Shared memory represents system memory that can be used by the GPU. Shared memory can be used by the CPU when needed, or as video memory for the GPU. Shared memory is allocated by the operating system itself, so having some free memory in your RAM is always better for the iGPU. Unlike SSD, finding the best supported RAM for your system is a bit more complicated, so I recommend downloading a small tool called Crucial System Scanner. It can detect your system RAM and other hardware and find the best supported RAM for your system. The amount of RAM you need for your system will also depend on your work and the applications you use. If you just want to play some games on Phoenix OS and use Windows for other regular tasks, then 8GB of RAM is more than enough for you. If you want to compile Android source code and build applications in Android Studio, then 16GB of RAM is a recommended amount. And if you want to edit some videos and applications like Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro, then 32GB of RAM is a recommended amount. Another thing you should consider before purchasing the best RAM for your laptop or desktop is memory clock speed, also known as RAM speed, and it's measured in megahertz. The higher the memory clocks, the faster the RAM will translate data to the other components. Meaning, your faster processor now has an equally fast way of talking to the other components, making your computer much more efficient. RAM upgrades are limited by the capability of the system and the availability of expansion slots for adding RAM. In many cases, upgrading RAM may involve replacing existing RAM modules with larger modules. Desktop users can check their hardware manufacturer website for supported RAM size and speed. Generally, if you are using an AMD Ryzen desktop or laptop, then 3200MHz is more than enough for gaming and other productivity software. 
If you are using an Intel laptop or desktop, then 2666 megahertz RAM is more than enough for you. High-speed RAM can also increase your overall system performance by using Intel XMP profiles, but you need to make sure to buy RAM from well-reputed vendors like Crucial, Corsair, and HyperX because cheap RAM can cause system crashes and get poor performance even on regular tasks. That's all for the Android x86 hardware guide today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Ghostface, and I'll see you in the next one.